How are you, Los Angeles? <laughs> you sound great to me. I have no complaints whatsoever. It's just great to see all your smiling faces and I, can, I know why you're smiling. Because the truth lives in you and you are dedicated to bringing the truth to everyone you know. And we're going to talk a lot more about that and what that means. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And we're going to have our sound hooked up here too. And how many of you have come from outside of California to be here tonight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Awesome. How many of you came from outside of America? North America. <laughs> Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are truly, truly honored. Let's get her hooked up and get rolling. Yes. All right. Well, my goodness. It, uh, there's so much to talk about, and uh, guess what? Uh, I am deeply honored tonight uh, to be sharing the uh, stage, if you will, with uh, Dr. Jones. It is a, just an incredible pleasure. And I'm going to set up a few things for him because he comes on with a bang, and I'm going to start out with love. <laughs> because I want to tell you how grateful I am for those of you who came tonight to take on the very difficult subject of the destruction of the World Trade Center and the staggering loss of life on 9-11. Now it's extremely important that we know the whole truth about this event because it served as the pretext for the invasion of two countries in which already a million people have already perished. Also as a pretext for the loss of many of our cherished liberties here at home with the Patriot Act, the Military Commissions Act, forthcoming H.R. 1955 and Senate Bill 1959, God forbid. It could happen again, another 9-11. In fact, we're promised by members of the Bush administration, the media, and members of Congress a far worse event than 9-11. And how dare they uh, basically promise us another 9-11. These are the reasons we must peer into this painful part of our recent history and to re-examine the relatively new physical evidence that we have not seen in the mainstream media. And to find out why, for instance, a 2006 poll by New York Times and CBS reveals that 28% of Americans believe that the Bush administration is lying, and not just about Iraq, but about the events surrounding 9-11. 